Yo, what is up guys, so for today I'm talking about Destiny 2, obviously, if you guys read the thumbnail, you guys would know, but, specifically, we're gonna be looking at the new TWAB changes that are coming out, obviously, there's just gonna be two things that I talk about, it's probably gonna be like a five minute video, but, I need content, boys, also, I actually think the changes is pretty cool, uh, so yeah, let's talk about the only relevant thing in this, in this week's TWAB, considering, Ain't nobody really excited that Iron Banner's coming back. You want the same armor you got in, what, Vanilla Destiny 2 or, you know, Season of Opulence? Go go right ahead. I don't care. So, an affinity for you. When we introduced Armor 2.0 with Shadowkeep last fall, we got a lot of feedback to the new armor system specifically pertaining to elemental affinities. Many of you have been asking for the ability to change elemental affinity types on armor. We'll be adding the ability to do this next season. You'll soon be able to change the elemental affinity on, on any piece of armor to either of the other two affinity types. Direct, fuck, I'm gonna need it. Directly from the items inspection screen by hovering your cursor over the armor's energy icon. This is intended to mitigate the experience of getting an armor drop with a stat roll you want, but the wrong elemental affinity. Changing an armor affinity type will cost one upgrade module. If your armor is already upgraded to the higher energy level, the cost will be total the total upgrade materials necessary to reach that ener energy value plus one upgrade module. So, I think this is a good change. <clears throat> I think it's just going to make it more expensive if you really, really de like just f jump into the whole build crafting. Because essentially, let's say you have, I don't know, a hunter with arms, legs, chest, and arms and helmet with like all masterworked, and your cloak is masterworked as well. At that point, you're killing a lot, and I mean a lot of not only just uh, like you're killing a lot of enhancement cores. You're killing enhancement prisms. And most importantly, in in ascendant shards. I think, I think this is a little too expensive because, essentially, I, I, me personally, I would love it if they just gave us an option just to toggle it and maybe have a price attached to it, not you know, upgrade the whole thing again. I think that's a little much. I think that's too much. I do understand that they're doing it for balance reason, but at the same time. I, I think it's just, I don't know, I, I, me personally, that's just fucking, that's a lot. That's a lot of upgrade material, bro. Like, that's wild. For me, at least. Like, I just, I don't see the value in that. But this is where, like, my opinion really changes. Let's say you're someone who does the Nightfall ordeal a lot. You like to farm enhancement cores for wh whatever reason. This is probably going to be no problem for you. Probably have a lot, and I mean a lot of enhancement cores, prisms, ascendant shards, I think they're called. Enhancement prisms. So you probably have a lot of them. This is probably not a problem for you. That's why for me, like, I'm, as far as I'm concerned right now, I'm very, I'm very casual right now. I'm not playing the game as much as I used to because honestly, I just... I'd rather not be playing right now. I'd rather, like, what, what does it say? Uh, time apart makes the, makes the heart grow fonder or whatever. So, I think these changes are not only welcomed, but I feel like the majority of people will like it. Because if you're doing Nightfall ordeals, if, you're, if you have the option to build craft, this is probably going to be a no-brainer. I think the only thing is that, like, let's say for someone who has really good stats on, like, I don't know an arm like from for my hunter i have uh an arms that ha an arm that has like 27 mobility with 21 intellect and then everything else is pretty dope like the only thing actually let me see like a really good roll that i have because i know i have one that i'm just like oh i love this roll so i have a helmet that has 14 mobility 12 resilience 24 recovery four discipline eight intellect and then 23 strength now the funny thing is the mod that i have on it is actually on the mobility originally i have like what two or four mobility so i could have 30 on either recovery or strength 
I like that. I think that's awesome because I do do I do a lot of either recovery or strength, and most of the time for me at least, if I'm running like a, a all mobility spec, when I'm usually doing that, I'm usually like have like bottom tree gunslinger, which means the throwing knife. So I have a lot of dodge energy, so I can like get my melee back. But if I can't dodge because there's no one around me, then I'll my high mo my um. My strength is high enough where it won't be like two minutes for it to come back. So I like to roll with different things. But if you're someone like, oh man, I can do like, I think my problem with this change is the fact that on paper, it's awesome that we can change everything. But like, let's say, let's say one day by the grace of the God or by the grace of God, we get like an activity that Bungie's like all right we have an activity that's like the menagerie but it's actually fucking better than the menagerie i know wishful thinking let me let me finish but let's just uh, like let's just say we have an activity that's way better than the menagerie and we actually put in difficulty settings so you can either do normal heroic or legendary and the legendary is actually worth doing and it's actually hard at that point, build crafting has it is not an option. You have to build craft. My only my only issue with this is that it'll be so expensive unless you have multiple armors of like different things. And that's the thing. You would need different armor for different thing. Like let's say you want to do a whole grenade build with a melee build. You're going to need discipline and strength. And then you're gonna need like, what is it? A solar, a solar cloak to get the enhancement bomber with ashes to ashes. It's it's just a lot. Like, I think another issue I have with it is that is that they're introducing so many build opportunities, but we don't have any ways to save our builds. Like in Des, in, I'm I'm sorry, in World of Warcraft, they have a little thing that you can save builds you can save it you can say like let's say oh this is my raid build click it all your shit immediately gets on it's it's very unfortunate that we have this system of inventory i feel like our inventory needs to increase because i like the way that basic mmorpgs do you have a bag you can put shit in it and that's it I would love that. I like the idea of having like, oh, you can only hold stuff for your helmet in your helmet section, but you can only hold nine. If you're a bit like, if you love build crafting, you also got to remember, I like for me, at least I have at least three exotic helmets that I always have on my, on me. I have two exotic arms that I always have on me. I have two exotic chest pieces that I already have on me always three three leg piece uh exotics that i always have and then like obviously for the cloaks i don't have exotics but unfortunately but if you had them in debt whatever it doesn't matter but that's this is where my kind of thought process is that i always have exotics on me so that means i already don't have enough space because i have so many like armors that i have on my hunter for different reasons do i want to go all mobility i have that do i want to go uh all recovery i have that do you want do i want to do an all strength rec and recovery i have that like there's it's awesome i love this but that means that i'm always like i only always have two slots available i never have any more than two and that's me really like oh i need to cut down i need to have at least two slots open that way for whatever reason i have it open to get stuff but it's just I think that's my my biggest gripe with it and that's not even that big of a gripe but if we could get like ways to save our builds if we could have a way where we could take our vaults with us that would be amazing and i know people are going to tell me but that would make the social space irrelevant well, like what it just make it like 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 an nmo rpg make our inventory as big well that's kind of different considering wow has bags and you can you know make your inventory as big as as big as how many bags you have but they need a system because their vault space basically acts like an in, like a bank 
<clears throat> but our inventory is just i think a little bit too low because if we had like the ability to pull from our from our vault in game i would even really bitch especially if we can pull like if we can save our loadout and let's say oh shit i'm i'm gonna do uh <clears throat> the shadow keep dungeon today i need all my loadout for that if i click uh what the fuck is that whatever if i click that dungeon specific loadout i would love it if all the armor sets or all the armor pieces that i usually run with that immediately go into my inventory i would love that because a that means all my inventory would be for the activity that i'm doing at the moment so let's say i'm doing a raid and i need shotguns for the first two for the first two encounters and then snipers for the last that means i have so much inventory space that everything i have on me at that time is specifically designated just for that raid i would love that now granted there'd be a lot of people like me who would have one armor set maybe two armor sets to like combine with each other just because like for me at least i like to have my hunter look like different each season so for me it'd be more like style than anything else but it would be amazing if we could have a option to like not only save our loadouts but if we click that loadout it would pull from our vaults and that way we can have it right there because there's really no reason that we can't pull from our vaults anymore considering we have the app on our phones and we have uh whatever the that that one thing is called the destiny item manager so bungie i love the changes but can we get like more build crafting changes along the way that'd be amazing not saying this is a bad change really not i think the only negative i have to say is that like it's just gonna get more expensive but if you're doing this active this type of thing a lot you'll you'll afford it it's not that big a deal so <clears throat> next thing seasonal mods we also received a lot of suggestions on how to improve seasonal mods starting next season the, the seasonal armor mod sockets undying and dawn mods will be also be available to use during that season before the armor set piece was released so basically you can use the undying armor and put the dawn mods on it which is amazing and i <clears throat> i love these changes they're awesome uh i don't know why they didn't do it that before it's just it's really weird it's it's like you would think like what like i, I promise you there's probably someone at bungie who's just like so wait, so the undying mods, the undying mine, or the undying mods, and the dawn mods are different? Yeah. Why don't we just combine them? Why would we do that? Okay. I like, it. it's just weird. Like this change should have been a thing already. <clears throat> like I don't want to give them credit because this is just something that should have been here already. But I mean, good for you, Bungie. I do think we still need we still need a lot of changes. This is not like oh finally the game's fixed. Far fucking from it. But these are good changes. I'm really hoping that season 10 will be amazing. Uh, I still don't know if it is, but I mean, one can hope, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about the changes. I'm gonna have a lot more Destiny, like where I have Destiny in the background, I just talk because honestly, I don't have the time to do build videos or anything like that. Actually, I'll probably do that in another, another video. I'll probably tell you guys what I'm doing, what my plans are because I haven't been doing videos and I've been feeling really shitty about it because I want to do this. I really want to do this a lot more, but work is just horrible. But yeah, if you guys want to follow me on social media, all its links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. If you guys are still watching after all this time when I haven't been posting anything, thank you. I really do appreciate it. And other than that, I will see you guys later.